welcome to the unit 1 introduction to apparel merchandising this unit reviews the definition meaning concept and the context of apparel merchandising this unit comprises of three modules and a final review section that invites you to reflect on what you have learnt. By the end of this unit, students will be able to describe the challenges in apparel business, describe the role of planning and forecasting in uh, meeting the challenges of apparel business, understand the definition and concept of apparel merchandising and understand merchandising as an apparel business process. Outline the classification of merchandising. The first module gives an overview of challenges in apparel merchandising. Apparel business is part of fashion business and as much is a much different from other businesses such as fast moving consumer goods FMCG or electronic white goods, etc. When a customer goes to an apparel specialty store and looks at merchandise to select a suitable dress, what is that the customer looks for while taking a decision to select or not to select? Is it the quality? Is it the fabric? Or is it the price? or is it the comfort? Yes, all the above are important parameters in upper consumer buying behavior. However, none of them is a primary factor of consideration. Yes, the primary factor of consideration is whether the fashion that dress represents is the latest, is it in vogue or not. It is the primary factor influencing the decision to buy or not to buy. Consumers would like to buy something in vogue and flaunt it to others to appreciate. The psychological satisfaction of wearing a fashion in vogue is more important than utility factors. Of course, uh, consumers do consider other factors such as quality, price, but only after they are sure about the fashion trend. A store may design and introduce many collections of clothing, but the acceptability of these collections by customers is a big question. Yes, customers may as well not accept some of them or good number of them or many of them. If customers do not accept and sales do not pick up, then the retailers are left with huge amounts of unsold goods. These unsold goods become obsolete with time as the fashion change and once obsolete, it is much more difficult to sell them. This is known as risk of product obsolescence. This is a major risk in apparel business. So, how to reduce this risk? How to increase the acceptability of collections designed, developed and introduced in the market by the retailers? Can the retailers wait to see what are the fashions currently in vogue? and develop their collections accordingly, it is simply not possible because fashions keep changing with time and seasons. The only thing constant about fashion is change. What is accepted becomes fashion and what is rejected becomes obsolete. So, fashion is all about acceptance by the majority. The main elements of fashion are change, acceptance, time and the season. 
as a result of change of fashions with time and seasons the product turnover is very high in apparel business this means that the life cycle of products is very short a shorter product life cycle is another challenge in apparel business this means that you need to keep the changing your merchandise as per the changes in the fashions can retailers bring the product designed developed and produced to the retail outlet faster unfortunately they cannot another challenging factor in apparel business is that the lead times are significantly longer long lead times apart from the other challenges listed previously make the fashion business an immensely challenging industry let us now look at supply chain of apparel business the supply chain involves various processes like spinning weaving knitting dyeing printing garment manufacturing and then bringing the merchandise to retail stores each process has its own lead time ranging from a minimum to a maximum there are challenges again regarding the behavior of apparel customers how much at what price and when do they buy these are the challenges that need to be addressed so the challenges in apparel business are one risk of product obsolescence two longer lead times and three short life cycles and the fourth one is higher product turnover as it stands we have product obsolescence risk whether customers accept the merchandise designed developed and produced and brought to the stores by retailers how can the risk be reduced especially in view of long lead times of apparel business the only way to reduce the risk is to predict what fashions are going to be in vogue for the coming seasons and then design develop and produce the merchandise accordingly this is where fashion forecasting comes into picture fashion forecast makes a scientific prediction of fashions expected to be in vogue for a particular season and year fashion forecast is made in terms of fashion design elements what are fashion design elements they are as follows styles and silhouettes colors fabrics and textures accessories that go with the given category the fashion forecast is made for each of the product category such as menswear women's wear etc and for a particular season and year for example fashion forecast for men's wear spring summer season 2016 or men's wear winter autumn for 2016 the fashion forecast is made generally 2 years in advance of the season for which the forecast is made why 2 years 2 years is the maximum time required by the entire supply chain to tune itself to the predicted fashions fashion forecasting makes an important contribution to the apparel industry in reducing the risk of product obsolescence and to face the challenges of longer lead times and short life cycles of products retailers adopt predicted fashion design elements from appropriate fashion forecasts in their design and development to plan a particular merchandise assortment for the coming seasons this helps them to increase the acceptance of their merchandise thereby reducing the risk of product absolutions 
unless the potential sales required optimum stock purchases and markdowns are properly managed a store cannot be successful this requires proper merchandise planning in terms of the estimated sales optimum stock levels purchases and markdowns this planning is done in terms of value of merchandise hence it is often called dollar merchandise plan this module reviews the basic concepts of apparel merchandising merchandising is defined as the bundle of all the activities involved in design development production logistics management inventory management and making the merchandise available in the stores at right time and at the right price the merchandiser needs to coordinate and liaison with the marketing department designers the production team vendors manufacturers and the operations team in the stores as well as review customer feedback it basically involves planning buying and selling activities or functions big retail chains have separated planning and buying functions with the separate teams handling these functions in coordination merchandising is a subset of activities dealing with merchandise management within the overall marketing management function thus marketing is about creating a demand and merchandising is all about meeting that demand there are two thumb rules in merchandising they are goods well bought or half sold and the second one is what is purchased must be sold goods well bought or half sold this illustrates the importance of the buying function if good merchandise is bought with customer orientation that is keeping customers tastes and preferences in mind and then selling that merchandise becomes so easy that it is as good as half sold what is purchased must be sold the second thumb rule this highlights the importance of selling complete merchandise by the end of season ideally by the end of the season the stock meant for the season should be completely sold out sometimes the stock can be kept in inventory for the same season next year but this is dangerous as the same season next year generally has a completely new set of fashions in vogue so merchandisers are to follow the thumb rule what is purchased must be sold look at the supply chain of apparel business from fiber to fashion especially from garment manufacturing logistics and retailing and managing the merchandise is very crucial at every stage in this chain the right merchandise should be in the right place and at the right time and price these four hours of merchandising are key to the success of merchandise management and apparel business as a whole retailer merchandise management is very crucial in view of the given challenges basically it is the merchandisers who are the driving force of apparel business across the apparel business supply chain so merchandising is the core of apparel business management finally let us look at how apparel merchandising is classified as just seen merchandising is the core of apparel business and the driving force depending on where merchandising is taking place merchandising is classified as shown retail merchandising wholesale merchandising export merchandising buying house merchandising and publications merchandising 
retail merchandising involves planning, buying and selling functions with a retailer. Wholesale merchandising, this is similar to in function to retail merchandising, but happens at the wholesaler or manufacturer level. Export merchandising takes place as the name indicates at the manufacturer and exporter of garments. It basically involves coordination, follow up and facilitation functions. An export merchandiser coordinates various internal departments on one hand and buyer or buying house merchants on the other hand. Buying house merchandising, here the merchants in buying house play a crucial coordination and licensing between the buyer on one hand and the export merchandiser on the other hand. They play an important role in monitoring the order progress and quality control. Publication merchandising explains the role of publications, magazines and trade journals in planning buying and selling functions of merchandising. Planning functions may be influenced by publications in selecting the appropriate themes for the season. Similarly, buying function may be influenced by the publications in terms of what merchandise is available with what manufacturers and wholesalers. The selling function may be facilitated by publications in terms of advertisements and publicity. You have come to the end of this unit. So, to summarize, in this unit, you have examined the challenges in the apparel business, the basic concepts of merchandising and reviewed the way merchandise is classified. Thank you.